Hey, what's going on my broskies? Welcome back to the Broswims channel. If you couldn't tell already, my uploads have been slowing down for a while and have been more focused on other games such as IL-2 and EFT. Some of you like those games and others do not, so I thought I would address the current issues I am having with posting one videos and how I see this channel progress. I would also like to address some of the changes I would like to see to WAD in the future to make it a more sustainable and enjoyable game. Anyways, for the past couple of years, my channel has picked up success by posting primarily WAD videos and continues to do so even now. If it was not for WAD, I would not be near 3,000 subscribers or have such a loyal and supportive fan base. But instead of my usual WAD video today, I want to talk about the future of WAD on this channel and why it is so. No, I am not leaving the game, but I'll definitely be exploring others. Video uploads may be only one to two times per week, with other content filling in between, not that it was already like that. I'll still cover new updates, aircraft, and tanks, along with making reviews, but like I said, it'll be more limited. Expect a WAD video every Wednesday and Saturday, and tune into the WAD streams on Wednesday night from 7 to 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. My schedule is posted on the Discord server and will take loose effect this week. As for the bro shows, they'll start again this Monday daily at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time until the start of school in which I'll have to change the time. Enough of that, let's talk about the future of WAD. When I first started playing WAD, I had many hopes for the future of it and I have not been disappointed yet. They've come a long way since my first WAD video where I was playing in a P-35 having a great time. But year after year, the game has slowly become more repetitive and boring. Although I have every plane in the game, each dogfight feels the same shoot the enemy aircraft until they blow up. Although there is a new damage model, it's not on every plane yet, and it's still flawed itself. Although, this is not the main issue. The main issue is that flying your aircraft takes almost no skill, unlike IL-2 where you have to check your temperatures, radiators, along with having a more immersive gameplay, making each flight very enjoyable. IL-2 gives you a reason to bail, crash land, or return to base, unlike WAD where points are awarded for kills, regardless of how you get them. Now, I don't want to compare IL-2 too much to WAD, because I get WAD is only a phone game and they can only do so much, but it's the concept I'm worried about. I enjoy the more hardcore simulators, and WAD is probably one of the best ones out there you can find for mobile devices. However, it lacks so much from the computer ones that I would rather play on this channel. Here are some additional features to WAD that can make WAD feel more immersive and more enjoyable for players, which I would very much so like to see in the future. The first and foremost addition would have to be the flight models. If the planes flew more realistically, I'd still be pumping out WAD videos on the daily. When my plane flies supersonic or seemingly has no regard to physics, it takes the immersion away creating a rather bland experience. Players can seemingly push their plane's engine past their limits with no consequences. These flaws decrease the skill needed to dogfight effectively and can take away the advantages of planes with more efficient engines and cooling systems. Overall, it seems easy and does not challenge the player at all to keep their plane in good health. Like I said, this is a mobile game, but compared to my alternatives, the game is lacking nonetheless, but this could be fixed. Fixing the speeds of planes to match their real life counterparts and by adding more features like temperatures and radiators, water would be much more enjoyable. New, better game modes similar to IL-2, where it is objective based for each battle, instead of who gets the most kills, would make the match seem much more meaningful and worth flying. Players wouldn't just leave the lobby because they know their death would be working towards the objective instead of hurting the team's score. Now, creating more objectives could lag out new players, but that is what arcade mode would be for. New players would warm up there and it would have minimal lag compared to the bigger, large scale battles. If you're unfamiliar with how IL-2 matches work, I'll leave an info card for you to watch my most recent IL-2 video, which will help you understand what I'm hoping for. Some other small features would also greatly improve the game. Turning too hard, too fast, or exceeding your top dive speed, or pulling too many Gs should destroy your plane. Currently, that does not happen, which allows for very unrealistic events to take place, such as supersonic Corsairs and Zeros pulling 15 G turns. Varying bullet velocities and bullet drop would also be cool to see, and the ability to move the pilot's head higher and lower would also be nice. A new, updated new damage model in which hitting the spars of planes increase the chance of clipping a wing, shooting the pilot or gunners to disable them, and hitting the engine and fuel tanks that cause oil and gas leaks would also make the game much more fun for everyone. But those can always come later. Now I know this is a flight simulator, but if you're going to add tanks, I would expect some improvements with them as well. The combat feels too simple and very repetitive, more so than aircraft. There seems to be almost no tactics, the hitboxes are all messed up, and it feels like I'm driving on ice half the time. 
When they were first adding tanks, I was expecting War Thunder tanks for some reason, in which you would have to aim for weak points in the armor and use different shells and bullets would destroy components of your tank rather than depriving them of health like in some Battlefield game. I thought tanks would be first person with an actual crew, which I hope is also added to bombers where you can have real people join the bomber crew, but I was sadly disappointed. Like I said, I get why things are the way they are, but these are all the features I would like to see, not necessarily need to see. I feel if these features were added, WAD would just be a more interesting game in general. I'm eager to see all these additions in the future, but Fanatec having a small development team and controlling a very niche market probably have other priorities, and I totally understand their situation. Please keep in mind, I'm just throwing ideas out there that would make the game more enjoyable for me. A lot of players complain about their high prices of planes, but if you haven't played any of the IL-2 games, you'd be surprised of how good of a deal WAD is. The game is free and the planes cost anywhere from $1 to $5, if not already included. IL-2 on the other hand, charges you $40 for the base game, and then $20 to $40 for every added plane. Due to that, I don't mind the paywalls, but I understand how it can be frustrating to new players. However, WAD is moving in the direction of a more free-to-play game, which is great, but I am wondering how it will affect the development rate of the game. I saved up $5 using the Pocket Flip app, link in the description, to buy a Yak-9 when it would come out. But I've waited over two years now, and that $5 is long gone. However, I am grateful that, that the developers sponsor my gold in the videos so I can produce content for my subscribers and promote their amazing game. By no means do I mean to discredit WAD, the goal of this video is to get my ideas of what would make WAD a better game out there and explain why I'm getting a little tired of it. But like I said, the WAD content will not stop, you just might see other content posted on the channel or notice my lack of interest in WAD sometimes. Anyways, I can't wait for the Stalingrad update because it would definitely motivate me to make more WAD videos. But after Stalingrad, I expect to see some updates that fix the flight mechanics instead of adding more content that will probably frustrate me. I guess I just wish that the wait wasn't so long. I hope the best for WAD and can't wait to see it in a few years from now. I'll still keep WAD videos rolling, but if you're ever bored and already binge watched all my WAD videos, realize that my other content might not be so bad and is worth a click. Until next time comrades, see ya then. Alright, you made it to the end of the video. Great. I'm gonna tell you a whole bunch of stuff, which is off script, okay? I'm speaking I'm speaking the truth right here. Uh, basically, everything I said on the script was pretty much uh, true. I just want to make sure you guys didn't get the wrong idea. I'm not quitting WAD, if that's what you're wondering. I know, like, half of you guys are probably like, Jesse's quitting WAD, but... No, I'm not quitting WAD, guys. I'm gonna be here for a while. Um, and the second thing I want to clear out of the way is, I don't think WAD's a bad game by all means. I'm just saying, I'm a little... A little tired of it after two years you, you feel me like i want to play some eft some il2 there's other games out there guys you know and i just don't want to post water all the time so hopefully you guys can understand okay there's an interruption there but we're good now uh so hopefully you guys can understand uh why it's like this um i'm basically gonna be posting water at the same rate i've always posted it it's just i'm gonna post other videos too so it just might look like i'm not posting a lot anymore but i still am and just, you know, don't forget, I post other stuff too, and you can always watch those videos if you're ever bored. I'm still going to do WAD live streams to the best of my ability. Uh, if you see a drop in quality of the WAD videos, it is most definitely because I got some weird software I have to record with, and my phone is laggy as heck uh, with the iPhone 6, so, you know, I'm, re I'm recording on my computer with an iPhone 6, and it just really lags out the game, making it really hard to play sometimes. And uh, that's another reason I've slowed down on WAD. Uh, WAD, you know, it's just hard to get good footage. It takes about an hour. It, it legit takes about an hour to two hours worth of recording to make a video. And then it takes me another two to three hours to write the script or whatever else I got to do. And you know what I'm saying, guys? It's like an all-day process. And even though those videos do quite well, I mean, you know, a thousand views, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, like pay insurance or anything for my car or buy gas. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, uh, and I, my other videos don't as well, but, uh, you know, if I'm not going to do it for a living, I might as well have fun with it, if you feel what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be just posting other gameplay videos that might not take as long to make, and are more fun for me, I, you could say. Um, but yeah, you know, EFT, IL-2, they're still great games, you know, give it a try, watch it. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as you can see, I posted, this is the most recent WAD gameplay I did. I recorded this all today. So you can kind of see how laggy the game is for me at times. 
And uh, I forgot to mention there's one glitch that's been going on with me. I, I hold down the trigger, but then it just stops shooting for whatever reason. I don't know if that's a glitch everyone's having or if it's just me. But that that's really been triggering me, like, legit. Like, that, I think that was the reason I just quit, like, the game. <laughs> Not quit the game, but, like, quit the lobbies I've been in. Like, I I'll, I'll, was like, oh, man, I should've got that kill, and I'll just, like, kind of rage quit out. But, you know, if you're not enjoying a game, there's no point in playing it. Um, so, if you ever see me just leave a lobby, that's because I'm not having fun, or I legit had to go. Um, yeah, so don't get butthurt all about it. Um, we all have our moments. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys next time on Off the Scripts. That should be a series, Off the Scripts. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the bro show, Off the Script. I don't make a script for that, by the way. A lot of planning goes into it, but uh, no script. Interesting. Alright, guys, we'll see you next time.